I've come to the Zen Park area to talk about one of the most crazy, frantic, frenetic, and in, uh, absolutely insane games I've played in 2016. I'm talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This is developed by our old friends at Platinum Games. We love that company. They make us incredible games, usually. Uh, this game, not so much. This game uh, does feel like there's been an adherence to the source material with its look. Uh, and its feel and some of its characterizations. Uh, you do get all of the turtles. You do get a whole bunch of different gameplay systems where it gives you the uh, illusion that you're having a bit of a different experience playing as each of the turtles. You have some co-op play, which you can play couch co-op. You can also play online. Although when I tried, nobody else was playing this game. This is, it's a fast game, which is kind of uh, one of the check boxes that you look to be checked when you play a platinum game. It has, uh, you know, some pretty decent animation and some pretty cool cut sequences, not unlike their previous Transformers title. But at the end of the day, it feels like you just get a tiny little sliver of content that's repeated ad infinitum, and it just drives you insane. I never miss. You do get some pretty good bosses to fight in this game, but the way that they set them up and every one of the experiences is you've got a bunch of different life meters that you just have to keep hacking away at. Uh, you know, it's cool that you've got four different turtles on screen at the same time, and of course, the turtles are all about turtle power and teamwork and working together. That's cool, but when you've got a camera system that's kind of going crazy, and you've got all of this sort of animation, and, and uh, you know, all, all of these characters flipping and flying and, and smacking on uh, the bad guys, and you don't know what the hell you're looking at, and you don't know why you're dying, and you've turned into a little turtle shell, and three of your other characters have turned into little turtle shells, and you just can't rely on the AI to make any kind kind of dent against the characters that you're fighting against, or the AI is just so stupid that all it is is just a bunch of different, uh, you know, standing around bad guys waiting for you to smack them or slash them or bonk them over the head with your nunchucks. It just feels very disappointing. It feels like, you know, a tiny chunk, a tiny morsel of the Turtles experience was actually crafted for us, and it's uh, it's a drag. Just like the repeated phrasing that you're going to hear over and over again. No more Mr. Nice Turtle. Yes, a couple of these sound bites are kind of cute and kind of clever and, you know, definitely from the Turtles kind of vibe, uh, but you just, you're going to hear the same phrases repeated like crazy throughout this experience. I like the cutscenes, I like the music, I like the animation, uh, you know, I like the 80s-ness of this thing, I like the, you know, the fact that, you know, we've got doorways and walls and things like that that look like they've actually been hand-drawn and they've got all that cell shading effect on them. Looks cool. It doesn't look, you know, any cooler than anything we might have seen on the PS3 or Xbox 360, which is kind of disappointing considering I'm playing this thing on an Xbox One. But it all kind of moves well in terms of frame rate. It, it, there is, you know, a ton of activity happening. But the way they chopped everything up and these little chunks, it's just, it's so disappointing. I mean, we do get an open-ish feeling New York City with uh, streets and rooftops and subways and sewers and stuff to go through. There's some interesting rain effects and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is a game that just feels like we get one arena, then a little bit of a hallway, then another arena. We're gonna keep fighting these repurposed bad guys over and over again that literally poof out of thin air, and they just keep kind of rehatching and reappearing. You can run right by them if you want until there is that force field blue barrier wall that pops up and then you gotta beat everybody in the arena until something else unlocks. We've played games like this a million times before and I guess that's the most disconcerting thing because we come to expect more from a company like Platinum. They're capable of much more. This is a company that brings us Bayonetta experiences and Vanquish. You know, they are an incredible team with a lot of creativity. I, I even love that Transformers game that they made, and this is just not that. And I don't know if the big stumbling block here is that all of the turtles have to fight all the time, because it just creates chaos on screen. It ultimately becomes very frustrating, especially when you've gotten, you know, you're down to the last life bar on a boss that has been boring to get to, and the fight has become boring, but you just want to continue on to see what's next and you get down to that last little titch and all of your AI guys go and then you go and you gotta start the whole boss fight all over again and it just takes forever. Deplorable. All of it just feels, you know, sort of propped up by superficial means to kind of lengthen the experience. I do like that you can kind of sort of attack the game in chapter chunks and go after different bosses and different environments any way that you please. You, you know, you're gonna fight up against some pretty cool ones too, like Wingnuts in there, and of course, Shredder's in there, and Krang's in there, Bebop and Rocksteady are in there. 
It's just too bad that Platinum wasn't given maybe another six months or a year. I'm sure they were trying to time it with the release of the movie, obviously. I'm going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan a 4.5 out of 10. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.